Hi guys, welcome to your reading. Welcome back if you're new or returning. So this series I'm doing right now is going to be a look at whether or not it is actually over between you and this person. Person that you're thinking about right now. This is their feelings as of today or when you happen to see this reading. Just know that even if you see it sometime in the future, just know that that would be the right time for you. But for the rest of us, let's go ahead and take a look here and see how your person is currently thinking when it comes to you, Gemini. Maybe you guys broke up. You haven't heard from them. Maybe in minutes, hours, or days. Some of you, it's weeks, months, or even years. That really does not matter. I'm going to ask Spirit here what you need to know about your person, Gemini. Do your person believe it's fully over? Okay. Do they feel like it's completely done and over with you? Is their mind made up? Is this really what they want? Or are they still undecided? Do they feel unfinished business with you? Are you still on this person's mind? Are they having a difficult time processing what happened between the two of you? Are they still even processing at all? Or have they already moved on to somebody new? Okay, Gemini, I will be doing another update and probably very soon. So, and I'm going to keep this series on my channel permanently. So if you guys are interested, maybe in checking in from time to time and see if maybe something new's changed. Or maybe you're with someone else. You want to see here, um, you know, something that you're going to do or they're going to decide to do. Just subscribe, hit the notification bell. I haven't decided the frequency of the reading, how often I'm going to check in on your person yet, but I assume it's going to be quite frequent. Okay, so Gemini, let's take a look here and see what's going on between you and your person right now, or actually from their point of view, from their perspective, how they are currently feeling about you, okay, for Gemini. Is there anything else I need to see for Gemini right now? Is it over? Does Gemini's person does Gemini's person think it's over between them and them and Gemini? Or the spirit want you to know right now, Gemini? Messages from the universe for you guys concerning this connection. I'm already getting the vibe that it's not over. But. Wow. You can be dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius, <clears throat> Aquarius, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or some, you guys may have those signs in your chart. Your person does. As of right now, they want to move on from you. Right now, they feel. very challenged emotionally. They also kind of hate themselves for this. It's almost like they blame themselves in a way. And you're probably like, oh man, I hope not. I don't know if maybe you, you did do something or you didn't do something, but they feel like they have like deep lessons to be learned from this. They kind of blame themselves for something here. But they also don't regret everything that's happened. So it's a funny energy that I'm tapped into right now, Gemini. I don't know why I'm getting this. Like They're trying to make a head over heart decision, but the heart is winning. But see, it's like, I have to learn from this. I have to learn from this. So I don't make this mistake again. I was, I was blindsided last time. I dived too in too quickly. I got, you know, the Gemini somehow got my, brought all, brought, down all my walls and brought my guard down and I shouldn't have done that they kind of feel like in a way vulnerable to you and they don't want to feel vulnerable again they kind of also have like because they have the queen of swords here and strength okay 
for how they're currently feeling about the situation. It's like, I'm never going to let this happen to me again. They don't necessarily blame you. They blame themselves in a really weird way. It's almost like this person kind of was like, oh my God, what was I thinking? You know, what was I thinking that Gemini possibly would like me the way I feel for them? Like, why, why was I thinking this could actually work out? Next time, I'm just going to know better. I was completely blindsided. I feel fooled. I feel tricked. I feel manipulated. And I'm never going to let that happen again. <clears throat> but here's the funny thing here with the temperance and the eight of cups. While they're feeling that way, it's almost like they're also being really reasonable and saying, I can't just blame this on, I understand where Gemini is coming from. I know they didn't have this malicious intent to hurt me. I know this was not, you know, their fault. Like temperance here with the eight of cups, it's almost like they, they, they're, you know, their first knee jerk reaction is to not blame others, but blame themselves. So hopefully that they can take something from this and not repeat this cycle or this this uh, situation again. But despite knowing all of that, they still feel like they don't necessarily feel like the victim or you, the victimizer, um, you know, or, you know, you to have done this with a malicious intent. You are still very much on the set person's energy. They still see you as someone they want to be with. They just feel like you're so cold or maybe you said something that just does not just, how could you say, I don't know what it is that's happened. You guys will know obviously better than I. But see, with this Queen of Swords energy, she's jaded, she's cold, she's logical, she's calculative. She almost gives no fucks, you know? Like, she's capable of walking away, almost no emotions, void of them. And it's almost like they cannot believe that you, it's, it's like, I don't know why I'm getting this energy here. They feel like, was were we even real? Did you even feel this way for me? Because I did for you, and I'm still interested in you, but I want you to commit to me, okay, is kind of what I'm getting here. I feel like your person is trying to walk away from you, but you guys, it's just the four of wands at the bottom of the deck tells me they're still wanting a commitment. They just can't believe how you reacted to something or how something was, um, how something was done. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with. The other card we have here is the Queen of Pentacles. They still see you. It's like they're really understanding. They understand the experience. You also remind them of somebody here that they either dated or someone from childhood. Could be a parent. Could be something about their upbringing, someone they dated in their past. And this, maybe that's what's also made them jaded. Because someone, you remind them of somebody. But see, you, they know that you and this person are entirely different. So that's why they're like, man, I'm just so, so excited that this time would be different. Which tells me here, Gemini, this person is really into you. They're really trying to get over you. <clears throat> they actually don't feel like it's over. They kind of actually want to give this another chance. Yeah, they brought their shield, okay? They brought their shield this time. They're not as vulnerable when, when they come back. They're just going to be a little bit more cautious, okay? Maybe, I don't know, I feel like they completely let down their walls and they were completely naked and, and like, here, Gemini, this is all of me. I want you to have me. I want to do this with you. And then something here happened. They felt personally attacked. Walls went back up. Strength, now they blame themselves. Why did I let, you know, this happen to me? But then they're like understanding about this whole situation. They're trying to walk away from you, but it doesn't look like that's going to be permanent. Gemini, your reading here tells me, I do not believe that this is over. Not right now. But they are thinking a bit. You know, with all these feels. They're overburdened by this. It's going to move slowly, but it's going to happen. You two are going to come back together. This is beautiful. You guys are going to break out of this um, energy that you guys are currently through. You guys will be able to get out of this stagnant energy. I feel like they're just really slow right now. 
It's very slow moving. They're looking at their situation like, is it worth picking up? Do I really want this or do I want to walk away? But it is something that they're like, you know, I'd be dumb not to give this a second chance. I see all it's worth. I see my fill in this, you know. I see how happy Gemini makes me. I, I see how mu much I want this, too. Like, they also feel like you guys make a great power couple. Even though you guys are oddly different, you guys can relate with each other quite well. You guys are a really good pair, really good match. Nine of Pentacles, though, is the slowest moving night. They're going to take their time. I feel like it has something to do with this, you know, being a little bit guarded now. And sinking and drowning in their own emotions a little bit, you know. They want they want to process this, but eventually they're going to snap out of it and know that you're the right person and that they can give you this, like, they can trust you again is what I'm getting, or you can trust them. You can take the energies how it best fits for you, sign the roles as they fit, but that's what I have for Gemini at this time. Yeah, look at that, two of swords, finding themselves at crossroad, needing to make a decision. This person's mind is not made up yet, even though it looks like or seemingly looks like they may have even told you, yeah, we're done. But trust me, Jeremiah, it's not done. I just saw 11-11. Could be dealing with a Libra, a Leo, a Taurus, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Who else do we see? <clears throat> it really doesn't matter, everyone here. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be a same-sex relationship as well. Not all of you, of course. Gemini, subscribe, comment. Let me know what this is if you resonate with it. Check your other signs, your placements. I'll be back again. So, um, yeah, just uh, hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for your time. I hope this helped. Bye, guys. See you a little bit.